Today's video covers calculating correlation coefficients by hand. It's something I hope you don't have to do very often because there's a lot of uh, different calculations and if you're using a calculator it's really a lot of work. At some point you're going to transfer over to a statistical application like Stata or SPSS or SAS and you're going to be able to create these, uh, produce these statistics without doing all this individual calculator kind of work. But having said that, I want to show you a couple of ways to calculate these by hand. The first is using the z-score method, which I detailed in my video on, uh, on correlation coefficients, my lecture video. And the second is using a spreadsheet, which is definitely an easier way to go when you have a lot of individual calculations to make. Let's go ahead and start looking at our problem. I've taken a subset of five cases measuring education, number of years of education, and income in uh, dollars. Um, you can see the data over on the left. So our first individual had 14 years of education, the second year, uh, second person 20 years of education, and so forth. And those first two people were paired up with income values of 54,999.5 and 82,499.5 and so forth with the remainder of the five cases. One of the first things I like to do when I calculate a correlation coefficient is to produce a scatter plot. And since we have so few points, a scatter plot is pretty instructive here. You can see the scatter plot I've made. I've, I've done this in Stata, and I have another video on doing these by hand if you wanted to create one on your own uh, with paper and pencil or with a graph paper. But you get the basic idea that we have x, y coordinates. Here our education, number of years of education is our y coordinate, and um, income in thousands of dollars is our x coordinate. And I find the address of my x, y coordinate and put a point there. The relationship basically looks to be positive. And if I were to um, you know, hazard a guess, it looks reasonably strong and, uh, and positive. So to calculate this particular correlation coefficient, we're going to use our z-score formula uh, version of Pearson's correlation coefficient. You can see the formula on the left. We have our correlation coefficient as the sum of the products of the z-score of x times z-score of y divided by n minus 1. To review, a z-score is simply each individual score, for example, 14 years of education, minus the mean of education, and divide by the standard deviation. So the first step is to take all of the educational values and create z-scores of education. The next step is to take all the values of the income variable and create z-scores of that variable. The third step is to multiply those two z-scores together for every case, for every observation, and then add up those products of the z-scores and divide by n minus 1. That's our correlation coefficient. Let me go ahead and calculate the z-scores for the first case to show you how it's done. And then I'll just fill in a table and then we'll come up with the final calculation. Well, the first thing we need are the, the different means. So if I look at the mean of education, we'll call that y bar, we see that it's 12.8 and the standard deviation of y is equal to 5.215362. If I look at the mean of income, I'll call that x bar. That's equal to 39,449.5. And then the standard deviation of income, or x, is going to be 30,340.98. So step number one is to calculate a couple of z-scores. Let me go ahead and start building a table here. So we're going to have our education variable and we'll have our income variable. And the first education case is 14 and the first income case is 54,999.5. So let's go ahead and calculate the z-score for education. The z-score for education is going to be equal to our y sub i minus the mean of y divided by the standard deviation. I'm just going to go ahead and shorten that. And that's going to be equal to approximately 0.2. 009. And so I'll put that up here, 0 0.23009. Now I need to calculate the z-score for income. And again, I'll come down here 
and my income score will be the 54,999.5 minus 39,449.5 divided by the standard deviation of income 30,340.98. Doing that calculation, I get approximately 0.51251, and I can begin filling, I can uh, put the next number into my table, 0.51251. Now finally, I'm going to have to figure out the product of these two z-scores. So I'll put, I'll label it as z e d u c times z inc. And let's go ahead and calculate that. So that's z e d u c times z inc, which is going to equal 0.23. I'm going to round this a little bit just to make it all fit on the screen. Point 5, 1, and that will equal 0 0.11792 approximately and I'll just write that up here 0 0.11792 so I've done that for the first case steps were simple calculate the Z for education calculate the Z for income look at the pro calculate the product of those two Z scores I now need to repeat this for all other cases in my data set so I'm going to go ahead and do that and fill that in quickly to show you the next step. And there we go. You can see that that was a fair amount of work. I've obviously calculated all these numbers beforehand and just wrote them down, but it took a fair amount of time to get here. The next step in calculating the correlation coefficient is to come over here to this product column and add these values up and I get a value of 3.334825 looking at my correlation coefficient formula I know that my correlation coefficient is going to be equal to that value divided by n minus 1 which is going to be approximately equal to 0.83. And that's it. Now you can imagine that if we had more cases, a larger sample, a bigger subset of data, this becomes uh, just a very difficult set of computations to make just in terms of time and accuracy. But I did want to show you how to do it by hand if you ever had to. What I'm going to do next is show you um, the same data, although we'll have 25 cases, and show you how to solve this in a spreadsheet pretty easily. So you can see that I've uh, entered all the data and made all the calculations in this Google Docs spreadsheet. I've got my first column is my ID number, my second column is uh, education, third column is income. My fourth column is the z-score of education, uh, the fifth column is z-score of income, and then the last column is the product of those two z-scores. So how did we calculate this? First thing I did is for education, I came down here and I used formulas to calculate the average, which you can see here, and the standard deviation for education. I did the same thing for the income variable. There's my average, and there's my standard deviation. And that's using the functions built into the spreadsheet. So that was kind of a quick way to do that. The next thing I did is calculated my z-scores. So let's just go ahead and look at um, case number 25. I'll just highlight the z-score for education, and I'll hit the F2 key. And you'll see that it's going to show us, it's going to color code where these values come from. And you can see that it's the value of education, in this case which is 12, minus the mean, which is highlighted, and divided by the standard deviation. And no matter which one of these entries I pick, you can see it's, it's the same outcome. It's the difference of the, two me, of the mean and uh, my observation divided by the standard deviation. I've covered this in other videos, but you can see I'm using the dollar sign notation here to use absolute addresses uh, and um, without the dollar sign relative addresses so I could copy this formula uh, reasonably easily. I've done the same thing for income, so let's just pick case number 25 for income and the F2 key to highlight, 
And again, you can see I've just shifted everything over one column. So I'm, I'm doing the correct subtraction and the correct division. That produces my two columns of z-scores. And then when I come up here, I'll just pick this value at the top. You can see it's the product of the two scores next to it. Same thing if I pick any value in here. It's the product of those two scores. At the bottom of that column, I'm using another function, another built-in spreadsheet function, to sum or total all the values in the range above it. If I hit the F2 key, you can see it highlights the range of values that are being added. And Escape shows me the value, which is a little over 10. And finally, if I click on my correlation coefficient calculation cell and I hit the F2 key, you can see that I'm taking the sum of that, um, the total of that column of numbers and dividing by n minus 1 or 24, producing my correlation coefficient. I've also created a scatter plot. Google Docs is not real good at allowing you to put a trend line or a prediction line or a fitted line onto this plot, um, which I'd like to be able to do when we get to regression. I may just switch over to Excel to show you that one, but we can make a pretty good um, uh, showing of the actual scatter plot here. And uh, we'll have to work on a fitted line later. So that's it for now. I hope this made sense to you. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me and I'll do my best to answer them.